What's up guys, Viper FPV here, and today I want to do a little quick tip. Um, a lot of beginners, and even some people have been doing it for a while, they make a mistake, like I did. This is a broken flight controller, so don't worry. Um, they have a big blob of solder on their flight controller, or maybe they got on these little tiny pads here, and they're like, oh my god, I ruined my flight controller. Well, there's a couple things that we can do to try to um, remove the solder, and hopefully you didn't power it up and it didn't bridge anything and it didn't destroy the flight controller. So what you actually probably will want to need, first thing first, like when you have a big giant blob like that, most of the time you can go ahead and use your soldering iron. And like I'm going to do right here. And most of the time you can kind of just use the heat from your soldering iron to make sure it's clear of solder and then kind of draw it out. And sometimes you can't because it's just so much solder. You can't. But sometimes you can and you kind of can just wipe it off, especially if it's at the edge of the board. Um, like say if you're doing like these pads or bridge, you can kind of just go like this and then swipe it. When you swipe, it should just clear off the pads and it won't be uh, together anymore. But this big giant blob is not going like, to like me removing it. So what I recommend going ahead and getting is one of these. This is a solder sucker. And you can pick these up. Um, I'll leave a link down below uh, to one of these. Uh, pretty much you, it's like a little plunger. You kind of push this down and then when you heat up the solder, it's going to suck right into it. So. Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and let's do that. So I got a lot of it up, and you can tell, see all that solder that came out? And then you can just do it again. And uh, I think I pulled the little thing off, but you get the point uh, of what this actually does. Um, you shouldn't be doing it probably on these. Most likely you're gonna be bridging some of these things here, maybe something like that. Um, most likely it's not going to be on top of it, but if you do drop a blob of solder, just be careful of not removing a capacitor or something like that. Um, in that case I did because I just heated it up way too much, it was too much solder. But you can also try, like for instance, this little thing right here, you can try using the solder sucker and it might work. Um, but the best thing for that will actually be use some of this. This is a soldering wick and what you do with it is you kind of pull some out and it's pretty much like finely fine wire kind of like interwoven and what you can do is you take it here and you just kind of place it on top and then you heat it up with the solder underneath it and just make sure you don't touch it because it does get hot and it pretty much will wick all the solder up so you see the solder getting onto the wick and it will clear off all the solder and pick up all the little tiny pieces. Sometimes you have to actually add more solder. I know it sounds kind of counterproductive and then use a solder wick. Um, it actually just helps it better and then you're able to get all the solder off and prevent maybe some damage or something like that that you might have would have had or maybe buy a new flight controller. So these are two things that are really helpful if you haven't picked one of these things up. I'll leave links both these things down below. A little quick tip for uh, today. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.